let us understand the doubly covalently bonded molecule namely oxygen atomic number of oxygen is 8 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 and 2p4 as we can see from the electronic configuration the atom of oxygen is containing only 6 electrons in its valence shell it is running short of two more electrons to attain the stable octet configuration as ns2 np6 so whatever is true for one atom of oxygen will be the same case for all the atom of oxygen so let us write the lewis electron dot structure for this to understand how this covalent bond is being formed between the two atoms of oxygen so six dots around the oxygen atom and another oxygen atom also having six electrons so now they both donate the electron to a common pool now what happens when they donate the electron to a common pool
what happens in this nitrogen this electrons belong and of this nitrogen also this donated electron belongs so as a result 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so eight electrons are present in the outermost shell of this atom of nitrogen similarly 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this atom of nitrogen is also containing eight electrons so how many bonds are there with two electrons one bond happens so therefore three bonds so between the two atoms of nitrogen they are linked by triple covalent bonds so both the atoms of nitrogen has got its valence structure satisfied with the stable octave electronic configuration so during the bond formation all the energy that is being used for bond formation therefore they will possess only minimum amount of energy thereby they are stable molecules so therefore three types of covalent bonds based on the numbers namely singly covalently bonded molecules we learned the example of HCl double covalently bonded molecules we learned the example of oxygen molecule and triply covalently bonded molecules we learned the example of nitrogen molecule so in general how a covalent bond is being formed by the mutual sharing of electrons between the participating atoms Now let us understand about the covalent bond formation. Covalent bond is a bond which is formed by the mutual sharing of electrons. This is a bond which is formed by mutual sharing of electrons. As we learned in the previous session, the ionic bond or the electrovalent bond is formed by complete transfer of one or more electrons from the valence shell of one atom to the valence shell of another atom. Here, it's not completely transferred. The participating atoms will donate the electrons, equal number of electrons to a common electron pool, and that would be shared among the constituent atoms equally. Now, let us take up an example so the concepts become very clear. Let us take up the example of formation of HCl, hydrogen chloride. How is this being formed? This is formed by a single covalent bond between the atom of hydrogen and chlorine. Now let us write the Lewis electron dot structure and go in for a proper analysis. Hydrogen is having atomic number as 1 and its electronic configuration is 1 is 1. Similarly, atomic number of chlorine is 70 and its electronic configuration is 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 p 6, 3 is 2 and 3 p 5. Now with respect to hydrogen atom, its configuration which would be stable is it should possess a configuration as 1s2 it cannot take up the configuration as ns2 np6 because it is a small atom it cannot accommodate 7 more electrons inside it to achieve this status so therefore its stable configuration considered would be just if it fills a NS2 condition, then it will be its stable configuration. So how many electrons are required for the hydrogen to achieve this 1S2 or NS2 configuration? It's already having one electron in its S orbital in the first shell and it is requiring just one more electron. Now let us look at the case of chlorine atom. Chlorine atom in the valence shell, third shell is its valence shell or the outermost shell and 
and in that it is containing five plus two. That means seven electrons. So this is again running short of one electron to achieve the stable octet configuration as Ns2, Np6. Now what will they do? They both will donate one electron each to a common electron pool, and that is being shared among them equally. Now let us try to find the electron dot structure for hydrogen. Hydrogen. One electron and Lewis electron dot structure for chlorine. Chlorine atom is containing, as we have understood, seven electrons. So therefore, the seven electrons of the valence shell has to be indicated by seven dots around the symbol of chlorine. Now, what will they be doing? They will donate one electron each to a common electron pool. Now, what happens after donation of the Now that donated electron is this, and it will be shared among the constituent atoms equally. Chlorine is a big atom in comparison. Hydrogen. So now let us see how many electrons are there for nitrogen. All the electrons of the circle belongs to this, and this circle electrons also belongs to this. So therefore, how many electrons there here? One and two. So what is its configuration now? Configuration of hydrogen has become one s two. Now how many electrons are there for chlorine? Let us count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it has achieved the octet status as 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. All these were already there. 3s2 was also there. Now because of this one addition electron, its configuration has become 3p6. That means even the chlorine atom has attained its octet configuration, and the hydrogen atom has attained its 1s2 configuration. Which was supposed to be a stable state. So how is this being achieved by the mutual sharing of electrons? Mutual sharing of electrons. So a covalent bond is a bond which is formed by mutual sharing of the electrons between the constituent atoms. This covalent bond would be formed. Only by the donation of the electrons by each of the participating atoms. But then the number of electrons that can be donated, based on that, we have the different types of covalent bond formation. We learn the example of single covalently bonded molecule that is HCl, oxygen molecule. It is bounded by two covalent bonds. Nitrogen molecule. It is bounded by three covalent bonds. Let us see how oxygen is having two covalent bonds. Oxygen. Atomic number eight. Electronic configuration. One s two, two s two. Two p four four five six seven eight. So this is the electronic configuration of oxygen. So second shell is its valence shell. How many electrons are there in its valence shell? Four plus two. It is containing six electrons. So therefore, how many more electrons are required for the oxygen atom to attain stability? So possess Ns two Np six configuration in its valence shell. Oxygen atom requires two more electrons. What is true for one atom of oxygen is true for all the atoms of oxygen. So now let us write the electron dot structure for this. We should indicate six electrons. So oxygen symbol O. So around it we should accommodate. 
six electrons because only six valence electrons are there. So the same condition for the other atom of oxygen when they participate to form oxygen molecule. So what happens now? I'll do this here. What happens now? Both of them will donate these two electrons. 